hi everyone blessings and salutations to you it is another brand new week bless God Almighty for another wonderful opportunity you know guys it's probably the lovely tone of your voice your charisma and the way you can hold the attention of an audience it could be your humility your warm personality maybe it's that deep baritone voice that you have or that beautiful smile now these are just a few of the available things that you can use I am Iberica this is motivations and memoirs and this is unfinished task part three use what you have now of course guys to use what we have it means that we have to pull on or maintain our inward focuses and this must be geared towards making the best use of what I said last week our natural God-given resources now someone may ask but how do I do that first we have to look within ourselves because remember we already have the inborn potentials secondly don't waste time make use of every minute thirdly activate and execute those skills and then we must pay attention to the small details because guys the little areas that sometimes we overlook are most times a good place to start a good starting point yes and then don't get distracted by the external forces you know those naysayers those people are whispering in your ears and telling that you can't and lastly stay within your scope that area where your strength lies where you have the experience and the ability and you know that yes i have this rather than jumping over the fence to take on something that you really really don't know how to handle a hundred percent now the fact that you may not have the necessary finances or according to you certain connections this is no biggie because remember as i said last week and the word of god says that a man's gift make room for us and take us before great men so once we execute Persons are going to call us and we're going to get connected to persons who themselves are connected. Money and affluence, they are good. But remember that to progress towards achieving our goals will largely depend on how we position ourselves and how we apply our skills, our time and our resources. Now this means that every action that we take, every decision we make, Everything that we do in order to progress towards our goal will dim the light of the distractions that are telling us that we can't. Now in 2 Kings 17, there's a story told about this whole widow who was out there gathering sticks to make a meal. But God had sent the prophet Elijah prior to that to go to the same widow because where he was being fed the brook had dried up and so he was now needing food so God sent him to this woman who didn't have anything now when Elijah met her Elijah said can I get some water and she quickly gladly ran to get the water but on her way to get the water he said bring me some bread she stopped dead in her tracks and she said sir I am telling you the honest truth all I have in the house is a little um, flour and some oil and I'm gathering these sticks because I'm going to make a meal for myself and my son and then we're going to die because well, that was the end of our food and she didn't know where else she was going to get food from but because she was going to be obedient and use what she have the Lord had already made provision for her so of course Elijah said to her don't worry yourself go and prepare me the meal and I guarantee you the jar of flour will never go empty the jar of oil will never go empty and believe me as the word of God says that woman obeyed and she had um, flour and oil to, to keep to feed herself and the prophet Elijah for a while now bottom line in all of this is 
do we want to complete our unfinished task? Now, we have to use what we have. And sometimes it means that we're going to have to give away our last meal, our last dollar. The last little strength that you have. You're tired and you really just want to go home to get some rest. But somebody needs you and you're going to have to use that strength you know, to pray that person out of distress or talk to an individual out of their hopelessness or just sit and listen to somebody who just really wants to pour out. Friends, by any means necessary, because we have limited time and because we're uncertain of how long we're going to live, we cannot leave behind any unfinished tasks. So we've got to use what we have. Guys, as you go out, Look around, look at the things that you have left unfinished. Pick them up because you can't leave behind any unfinished task. And guys, remember, time is short. Life is uncertain, right? And things are really moving so quickly that if we don't do what we have to do, we don't get anything done. Guys, walk good. Remember to share this video with somebody and leave your comments. And if you have not yet subscribed, guys, please remember to do so. God bless. See you next week.